Well, right now, uh, joining us on the phone is uh, Patrick McCaskey, who is the Director of Special Projects for the Chicago Bears. He joined us um, via phone to talk about his latest book called Pillars of the NFL. And uh, first of all, thanks so much for joining us, Patrick. Well, it's great to be with you. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, we're thrilled to see the New England coach listed on this book. Uh, but uh, if you could talk about I know you have a special tie to the very first coach to uh, win more than three championships. In fact, you've uh, won, he won a total of six as a coach. Tell us about your relationship uh, to one of these uh, great uh, coaches in the NFL. My grandfather, George Hallis, was one of the founders of the National Football League in 1920. And he played on the Bears for 10 years. He coached the team for 40 years, and he was the owner of the team for 62 years until he died in 1983 at the age of 88. And in addition to the six championships as a coach, he had two more where he was just an owner. Wow. Well, it's nice to see him right up front and, and um, treated first in this tremendous book. Um, but I have to ask you another question. I, I know the Ten Commandments. I've known them since, <laughs> since I was a... A wee bit of a lad. But what made you uh, come up, Pat, with the Ten Commandments of football? Well, the two most important parts of the Bible to me are the commandments and the Beatitudes. So in relation to the NFL, I wrote the Ten Commandments of football, which combines the commandments of God and uh, the Beatitudes of Jesus. I know you have many, uh, as we're talking uh, with you about this particular book, The Pillars in the NFL, too. I know you, this is like your third book that you've written, but you're also involved, as, you know, as we mentioned, to the special projects for the Chicago Bears. You have many different hats that you wear. I wanted to talk to you about uh, how you keep it all together and, and, and go from one to the other. Well, we have Mass in the Sacraments, and that's extremely helpful to me yeah. and to many others. God provides uh, the grace and mercy to, to do things. Now, you're, a, you're an author and a speaker, and you're soon heading off to, uh, to training camp for the Bears. Of all of these roles that you have in your life, and I know there are many more, I'm only mentioning a few, uh, what are your favorite aspects of everything that you do? I like to write books and have speaking engagements because I, I think I have those gifts. And uh, these uh, books and speaking engagements are the opportunity to exercise those gifts. Now, taking a look at the, at the book itself, too, there's these great coaches on there. Is it, as you were writing this and gathering information, were there some traits or what, what were the things that really made these coaches successful that, that stood out as you put this together? Well, I think that they obeyed the Ten Commandments of football. Uh, one football is a wonderful game. There's blocking and tackling and much, much more. Be enthusiastic. Two, weddings, births, and vacations should take place during the off season. Three, remember the Hupmobile and the original meeting. Four, all previous games are preparation for the next one. Five, obey the personal conduct policy. Six, work for the good of the league. Seven, win championships with sportsmanship. Eight, you shall not criticize the officials. Nine, you shall not covet other teams, players, or coaches. Ten, game times are tentative and subject to flexible scheduling. <laughs> Good deal. Now, in these days, there's another kind of football that we're um, focusing on. Uh, last report, Team USA has an 881 chance of winning the, the, uh, the World Cup. Do you have any opinions on that, Patrick? Oh, not too much. I don't know much about soccer. Uh, I do hope that the United States is successful, and I'm glad they're doing well. We're with you. <laughs> now, there's a lot of information in this book, um, uh, Patrick, and uh, I was uh, curious, too. I, I understand it was, a, it was a long process. It must have took a, a long time to put this together. What was that like, putting all the information together, gathering all this uh, information, all the great coaches? The first thing I did was made a list of the championship teams from 1920, through the present, and then uh, listed the coaches. And I was simply curious about which coaches had won the most championships. So the first part of the book that I wrote uh, would be the appendix, which shows the list of NFL champions 
uh, and the NFL championship coaches. Uh, it's interesting that these 10 men were responsible for 40 championships. Wow. And there was a dominant coach in most of the decades. Hmm. In the 1920s, uh, Guy Chamberlain won four championships. In the 1930s, Curly Lambeau won four championships. In the 1950s, Paul Brown won three championships. In the 1960s, Vince Lombardi won five championships. In the 1970s, Chuck Knoll won four championships. In the 1980s, Bill Walsh won three championships. And in the first decade of this century, Bill Belichick won three championships. And we all bow our head at the name of Bill Belichick. <laughs> Patrick, he's a great coach. <laughs> he is. He really is. He's quite a guy. He's, this book is published by Sporting Chance Press, which has a mission to recognize people like yourself who are successful in sports while leading an exemplary life. Where can people learn more about this organization and also get a copy of the book? Well, people can get copies of the book through Amazon and selected bookstores, which are mainly in the Chicago area. Uh, you... Uh, have a, a little bit of a misconception. Uh, sports Faith International recognizes people who are successful in sports while leading exemplary lives. And Sports Faith International has a website, as does Sporting Chance Press. Sporting Chance Press publishes positive books about sports, and uh, they have a website also. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, uh, Patrick, for being with us. And uh, we appreciate you talking about this new book, and it'd be a great read for the beach. We were talking about that early, bring it out to the beach, get some great information there and learn about more about these great NFL coaches. So thanks for being with us, Patrick. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. It's great to be with you. Okay, God bless. Appreciate you it. Too. Yeah.